Here's 25 tips for new players and don't starve together. Number one is always stay moving. If you're standing still, you're wasting time. Clearly think of an objective and go do that. Never have downtime. Number two, the nighttime doesn't lock you down to one place. Keep moving with a torch or a lantern. Number three, don't fear the caves. Just because it's dark doesn't mean it's dangerous, and there's loads of good items down there. Number four, farms are a waste of time. If you ever see any or have built any, hammer them immediately and instead collect berry bushes which are much more effective. Number five, winter seems hard, but it's not. Make a thermal stone, mine ice, and have a torch on you to burn lone trees to warm you up. Number six is teching up. This is one of the most important things to focus on in the early game. If you don't have the alchemy engine, you are seriously hindered. You need the items from the alchemy engine, such as the hand bat and football helmet to move faster. When summer comes along, just go underground. It's cooler so you won't overheat. Number eight, make a crock pot and learn the recipes. It makes the game so much easier. Number nine, use and abuse kiting. Kiting is the mechanic Don't Starve's combat revolves around. It's a formula of attacking and running while the enemy attacks. Number 10, a birdcage can be used to put a bird in. If you feed it meat, then it will give you eggs. This turns any meat food source into a non-perishable food source. Number 11, eat food raw. Usually it's a waste of time to cook food in the fire. Number 12, insanity is good, not bad. Number 13, rabbits are not a good food source because morsels are too little for the time invested. Number 14, spiders are a good food source if you have a crock pot. Number 15, Killing the beefle at the start of a run is a pretty good idea, because they give a lot of meat, and aren't useful for much else. Number 16, when a thermal stone turns orange, you're not fully heated. Stay by a full tier fire until you start overheating, then you are fully heated. Number 17, tree guards are the easiest boss, and their drop, living logs, is used to make the best weapon in the game, the dark sword. So remember to kill them. Number 18, is use control plus F to force attack. Number 19, in settings, turn off screen shake and lag compensation. Number 20, hound attacks can be easily avoided by entering the caves before they spawn, and vice versa with depth swarms. Number 21, don't base too close to pig houses. On a full moon, they'll attack you. Number 22, the two best tactics for the first eight days are 1, exploring the entire edge of the map as you collect resources, and 2, ruins rushing. Number 23, the lantern is one of the first items you should go after after crafting an alchemy engine. It's a much better torch. Number 24, many mobs can steal items left on the ground, such as fruits, vegetables, meats, and rocks, so keep them stored in your chests or somewhere else. Number 25, most mobs are extra aggressive towards the player, although they'll also fight with each other. If you like to hit the like button or subscribe.